Hi everybody, it's me Jen, Nail Polish Anonymous, and Friday night I made Dark Kiss because I was going to make it Thursday, but um, I didn't have enough lye to make it, so I had to wait until Friday to go get some lye. And this is what it looks like before it's cut. I know you can't see it, but there's, well, now you can, little gold specks in there. And, hang on. My cat telling me to go out, sorry. Um, when I made this, the base, I didn't color. Well, I did. I just put the gold speck in there because I knew that it was going to turn brown. And you'll see when I do or cut it, the difference in the um, color. But I used a deep wine red and some white that I left uncolored because I wanted just a little bit of color in there. Just a little. But I knew because of the vanillin content that, um, where's my mark? That it was going to turn it brown. But I absolutely love the smell of this one. I got a little bit on myself Thursday night, and that's when I decided that. I was going to do this one because I couldn't wait any longer. It smells incredible. But you see the difference? This The oxygen turns the vanillin content in there a brown color. So, yeah. I, I'm in love with this smell. I really, really am. It is Sensual Mirabella Plum. Black Raspberry Amber, Lush Peony, Vanilla Bean, Musk, and Fresh Spun Cotton Candy. And you can see the red and the white. And I did a little um, oh, hanger swirl. Just a little. I didn't want much. But I absolutely 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 love this scent like I'm, going, I'm actually researching how to make um perfume because I love it that much but once the air has affected the coloration I'm going to insert some um pictures so you can see how it's going to look later But I really, really love it. So. We made another one. Because Cameo was home this weekend. And. She had just bought an. Um, Honey, I washed the kids from Lush. And. So she wanted me to try the one I had. And they're not the same. It's definitely not the dupe. She said they smell totally different. But that's alright. I only made a one pound batch, so. Yeah. But I am super excited to try this one out. Oops. I absolutely love it. So. Yeah, let's see if we can see the gold fleck. You can't see the gold in it yet, but you will. So, there's that. And I am going to wait to upload this and then um, add in some pictures of how it's changed. But I will talk to you in a few. Hi everybody, I'm back, and it's been like three days since I cut this, 
and you can see how brown it has gotten. I mean, complete change, right? Since the air got to it. But I love it. I absolutely do. And I'm telling you, I am going to figure out how to make this into a perfume. I love it so much. I love walking into my kitchen from going outdoors. Um, it's really, really an amazing smell. So, yeah. But I just wanted you to see, you know, the color difference. So, and <clears throat> I do have the other one to cut now. And this is Honey, I Washed the Kids. And it took five days before I could actually get it out of the mold. I don't know why. Like, half of the oils were hard. Like, I used, um, sun... I used sunflower, avocado, coconut, and shea butter. So, I don't know what the problem was. And I use, um, sodium lactate, which is supposed to harden it. So, I'm not sure. But, for this, um... That's not working. For this pour, I pour in each corner, these two corners, I poured the colors. There's five colors. There's a white, um, an orange. There was supposed to be two blues and a pink. Now you'll see the colors more, but I kept on just pouring them you know, in these corners. So it layered it up. So I'm excited to see how this turns out. This, um, pour style. And I'm going to cut it in two different ways. First, I'm going to cut it in half. And this scent is Honey, I Wash the Kids, and it's supposed to smell like coconut, bergamot, honey, and orange. I don't know. All I smell is baby shampoo. That's all I smell. And then I'll show you the cuts after. I'm going to cut it again like normal. But, um, the pink, I'll show you in a minute. And then this one, I'm going to flip it and cut it this way, because I want to see if the design is different by cutting it at this angle. You know? You don't know unless you try, right? So, I don't even know if I showed you the top. Let's put it back together and show you the top. So that's the top. This blue stayed. You can't really tell, but I think this was supposed to be a light blue. And then when I added it to the oil to pre-mix it, um, it actually turned like a teal. And then it morphed to this. So I don't know what happened. And then this light, light peach color was actually supposed to be pink. So I have no idea. I guess it's just the quality of the um, um, oil. Wow, that was a really straight cut, right? <coughs> but... So, there's these cuts, which is kind of cool. It's just lines, right? But you can see where the other side met up with it. And that's going to be the mirror image. 
And then there's this part where they met together. So that's pretty cool. I did get Glistler and Rivers. And that is... You see these white lines? Yeah. That's a... And I don't mind it. Some people do. I think it adds character to a soap. But I'm not sure why the orange got it too. So I don't know. Yuck. Um, so let's check out this cup. So, eh. It's alright. It's a little different. But nothing major, right? So, that's that. And I do love it. I mean, it's all right. I'm not in love with it like I am with this one. Now, those I just, I can't even wait to use. So, those are my two soaps for this week. They will not be ready for at least three more weeks. So, I will talk to you later. Bye!